What's up guys, this is Pastor Kamayo again. Uh, so now we're coming up with another tutorial JavaScript. We're going to be talking about while loop. So what is the purpose of while loop? So the purpose of while loop is to execute a statement or block of code repeatedly as long as an expression is true. When the expression is false, the loop terminates. For example, we're going to do this. Let's... Uh, Let's do this variable. Variable, let's do text equals two double quotes for empty stream. I want to do a bar, I want to do count equals to one. Then we do the while loop. That condition of the expression is going to go right here. So if count less than, what do we do, five? Curly brackets. And here's going to go the block of code. What we want to be accomplished. So in this way, we're going to do a text equals, equals, uh, double quotes right there and then we're going to have a line break plus i i mean plus count they want to increment this count plus plus okay now right here outside we're going to use our document I get hello by ID. Let's get rid of that. Let's write our ID. We got demo in HTML. And then we're going to do the text right here. So let's save that. So, what is going to happen is the following right here. Okay. So, we got the bar count is one, right? It will start a one. So, why loop right here? So if the count is, it will it will execute this first. If the count is less than five, which is it's going to be true, right? It will execute this code right here, this block of code, which means it's going to execute uh, the one first, and then it will be it will be incremented by one, which is going to be two, and that's going to go two. And then it's going to be the same thing. We'll go to it was going to check by two. If two is less than five, it will execute this again. And then it's going to be two. And then right here is two. It's going to be incremented by one, so it's going to be three. It's going to it's going to uh, check count of three is less than five. Count of three is less than five. If this is true. It will continue securing day securing this until it goes to four but when this is it's five if you do four right four increments one is going to be five okay if this is five less than five this is becomes to be four so it should print one two three four numbers right here okay let's save that and see one through four yeah that's what it gave us. Two, three, and four. Exactly. Exactly. Now, so this is this is cool. This is not too bad. Also, if you want to change right here, if you want to do 10, for example, and then you also can increment right here by two. Equals two. Instead of incremented by one, it's going to increment it by two. So which is going to be uh, one, it's going to be three, it's going to be five. Yeah, now let's see. One, three, five, seven, nine. Yeah. You can increment it, you can just do a three. Change that, it's going to be incremented by three. One. Four seven. 
if you want to do by five, you know, whatever number you want to do, whatever number you want to do, it will increment it that way. Well, this is, that was a pretty quick and very short video in wide loop. Hopefully you guys liked it. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it with your friends and your family that are learning to code. All right, I'm going to talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.